What is up, Young Nation, and what is up, newcomers? I should really say good morning because it is still... <laughs> it is still the morning. I've been up for a few hours now. But my name is Brady Young. Welcome to my official return video, I guess. Because I did make a video saying I was going to return to Twitch. But now this is actually my official return video. And why not do this video as an exp explanation as to why I took such a long break? Because it's like, why did I? And truth be told, if it wasn't for the food review video I did for Bomble, it probably would have been a very long break. So I'm actually very thankful for doing that video, but at the same time, I'm also very thankful for the break. Because it really helped me get... Oh, I should probably turn that fan off. <sighs> okay, yeah, because it's nice and cool in the morning, but... I really feel like I should explain why I took such a long break, and it had a lot of seriousness in it. Like, this is kind of a serious video, as you can probably tell by the title. I'm not really going to do any kind of jokes, anything kind of like that, or haha -ha, funny moments, whatever. I'm just going to jump right into talking about it. Jump right into it. That is such... Is that not a cliche? I feel like that's a cliche for YouTube. I really feel like that is. I gotta find something else to say for that, especially coming back. Why I took the break I did from YouTube was there's just so many things going on in my life so many things that were just causing doubt in me and a lot of that ended up just straight up leading to me getting depressed. I said this was going to be a serious video, right? How that started happening though, I'm not really wanting to go too deep into it, but it was just like when things are not exactly going your way, you are going to start doubting yourself. When things aren't going the way you want, it's like, uh, uh. You really start getting in your own head and you just start having all these negative thoughts that are just going through and you're just like, I don't like this. And a lot of that was also not just coming from YouTube, it was coming from stuff like Twitch, it was a lot of it also coming from my books, of things not going the proper way for writing and all that stuff and seeing results in certain ways and it was just getting in my own head and just also a lot of personal issues that were going on. And so a lot of it just started feeding into this doubt that was coming at me, and then I just started getting so sad from it. Like, I was just getting very depressed from it, to the point where when I wanted to do my Twitch streams, when I wanted to do my YouTube videos, I was pretty much forcing myself to fake a smile, to... And I was pretty much forcing myself to enjoy it. I was pretty much forcing myself to try and seem enthusiastic, and it's not really healthy when you force yourself because you're just not really going to enjoy it. And like when you're forcing yourself, it's just, ugh. It's so much more effort, and especially when you're going through that kind of stuff, you just don't want to. And so I started viewing doing videos as too much of a chore, which I've never liked viewing them as that. I've never liked viewing it because I also started viewing my videos as a job that really did not do anything for me. And I hated viewing it like that because I've always enjoyed doing YouTube videos. When I first started this, what was it, like a year ago? Yeah, a year ago. I was enjoying it. Like, I was pumping up videos because I was on fire for this. And I, I'm very thankful for the break because now I feel like I've gotten that energy back. But when I got into this depressive and doubtful state, I was just viewing it all as, like, I don't want to do it because I'm not enjoying it as much, and I hated that because I do enjoy making YouTube videos. There's so many things I want to talk about. There's so many things I want to do. There's so many fun challenges and punishments and torture that I want to put my friends through. Okay, you understand that? There's so many things I want to talk about on my YouTube channel with my friends and get their insights. I want to bring on other people, not just have me here because, let's be honest, y'all probably gonna get tired of me, okay? Let, let's be honest here. <laughs> But there's so many things I want to do, and so when I started having that mindset, it was like, no, like, I need to take a break. I knew very well that I needed to take a break, because if I was going to continue viewing YouTube as a chore, that as a job, that just wasn't doing anything for me, I was going to get burnt out, and then I would just stop completely, which I did not want to do. And going through that, up until the point of that food review video, I was actually feeling a bit better because of what I did to combat those doubtful thoughts, those depressive mindset, that depressive mindset I was going through. How I combated that was actually, it took me a little bit longer because I have gone through depression in the past and I mean when you're in high school sometimes that does happen and I confided in people back then and 
I'm a, I'm a person that likes to share a lot. Like I share with my friends and my family about a lot of things. That if, if I'm involved or want to get involved in certain things, like I'm always talking to people about anything, whether it be like I'm talking to someone new, like, hey guys, I'm talking to a girl. <laughs> What do you guys think? If I'm going to, for a new job, I'm like, I'm, talking, I'm like hyping up the job I want to do. It doesn't matter what the job is. Like, it's been throughout my life. Like, if I'm going for a job, like, I'm talking to my friends, like, oh yeah, this and that. Like, there's gonna be this perks. Like, I'm gonna get to do this. I'm gonna get to do that. Like, when it came time to do my books, like, I was hyped for that and I was sharing with my friends. And so, when it came to this, like, it took me a little bit longer than I was proud to admit. That I'm proud to admit. I don't know why I'm, I, well, like I said, it's morning time, and I woke up at 6.15 this morning, so forgive me for messing up my words. But it took me a little bit longer than I'm proud to admit that I uh, started sharing with my friends and family, but once I started sharing with them, like, what I was going through, what was happening, like, it really started helping, because they were there for me, they cared for me, they supported me, they were just like, hey, I stand by you. And that's what you really need when you're going through that. Like, you do need to share. Because if you don't share, you're isolating yourself, you're closing yourself in, and that's really bad, because then you start thinking that, like, no one's there for you, and it's like, well, no, people are there for you. You just gotta let them know, like, how they can be there for you. And that's what I did, like, because so many of my friends were asking me, like, what can I do for you? It's like, you know what, just be there for me. Just talk with me. Ask me how my day is going, ask me how I'm doing. And that's just how, you, and that's just for me, like, that's how people can be there for me. Everyone's kind of different in how they feel cared for. Another thing is, like, how I really started combating that depression that was coming at me, those doubtful thoughts, those, pretty much just the negativity in general. Like, I was eating junk food because of that a lot. Um, a lot, like, near the end of me doing a bunch of YouTube videos and Twitch streaming, like, I was not eating completely healthy, and I feel like that kind of fed into my low self-esteem issues that I've dealt with in the past, and that's... Ooh, that made me look at my body and myself, and I was just like, eh. Which, when you're going through already a whole bunch of negativity, you don't want to add more to it, so that was bad. So I started changing up how I was eating, and that really helped because I was already going to the gym, and going to the gym really helped too because it got me out of my house. And especially hanging out with my friends, like, it got me out of my house. Because when I'm in my house for too long, or, in my, or I'm in my own room or my office for too long, I start feeling, again, isolated, and it's like, I need to get out. Even if going to the gym, like, just for an hour, it really does help. Getting outside the house, getting to, into some sunlight, oh, it so helps. It really does. I'll say one of the biggest things I think really helped me was definitely taking it to God. Because as I've stated in my previous videos, like, I think I've stated a lot in my previous videos, like, I am a Christian, I believe in God, and I pray. And that was definitely something for me, was like, I just took it to God and I was like, you know what, here, like, I'm laying this before you, I don't want this in my life. And I was continuously praying that, and I was just like, I, I really don't want this. And so doing all these things, they really helped me to get into a better state. And so by the time I did the food review video, I was actually feeling way better. But I still felt like after that video, I still owed it to myself. I know I sent that video, I was going to do more videos, and I feel bad for lying. I'm sorry, please forgive me. But after I did that video, I still felt like I owed it to myself and to all of you that I needed to get back into the right headspace. I need to get back into the right mentality of everything that, so when I did videos, I was completely fine. I'm not saying that, oh, I'm completely fine. Like, I'm 100% better. Like, no, I still have bad days, but I'm still combating it in the way of I attack my day with prayer. I attack it with going to the gym. I attack it with getting outside. I attack it with doing the simplest of things. I'm just talking with my friends and all the stuff. And I just attack my days with positivity. I wake up with positivity and it's just like, I attack my day with positivity. It's like, I'm not gonna let things get me down. I'm not gonna be doubtful. Cause it's just, it's not gonna be helpful in your day. I'm not gonna let negativity start to seep into my life because I'm a person that likes to promote positivity. I like to promote encouragement, especially on my channel and in my Twitch streams. And so with kind of getting back into the better and healthier mindset, I feel like now I can return to doing YouTube. I feel like I can return to doing Twitch streams with a healthier mindset and with a healthier new energy of actually feeling enthusiastic about doing videos, about doing Twitch streams, about doing all these things again and not worrying about like, am I forcing myself, is this a chore? Like I said, I still have lots to do. Like there's so many videos I wanna do! Thank you all so much for watching. That's all I had for you today. So I hope you all understand now why I took the break I did from YouTube because now I'm coming back. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like, hit that like button, comment down below, share this with anyone that you know 
that might need to watch this. And don't forget to subscribe, because when you subscribe, you join the Young Nation. I mean, come on! I'm coming back better than ever! Thank you all. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't forget to check out everything in the description below. I always seem to somehow forget that, to sometimes say that, and I apologize. Definitely check out everything in the description below if you want to go and follow me on my socials and all of that. They'll be down below. But I will see you all!